In today's video, I will show you the best way to sideload apps from your computer to your iPhone. Before we get started, make sure to follow each and every step carefully. The first step is to click the first link down in the description. This link will send you to the Alt Store website, and after you're here, you have to scroll all the way down and uh, choose the operating system that you have. If you're on Windows, you have to download the iCloud client from the um, from the Microsoft Store. Then after that, you have to log in with your Apple ID. Since I'm on macOS, I have to download uh, this one over here, Alt Server macOS. So let me download that. So after the loading it, you have to go in your apps, then drag it over here then make sure to right click and click open if you don't do this it will just come up with a pop-up click open and sometimes you have to like go over here in your settings privacy and security and it will ask to allow the application down here it's asking for automatic updates check automatically i recommend this install update so it's downloading the update after it's done downloading Make sure to click this, install on the relaunch. So after it's done, should be up here. Make sure to connect your phone to your computer. It might pop up with a, a pop up asking you for the passcode and to trust the computer that you're connected to. But I've already done that. So what you have to guys have to do afterwards is uh, click on this uh, icon over here. Install all store, click your iPhone. Then here you have to log in with your Apple ID. Uh, after logging in with your Apple ID, you should not see this, but I'm only seeing this because I did it before. I had a, uh, I was using it on my Windows machine, so yeah, uh, just click continue. Okay, after the app has been installed, as you can see over here, uh, make sure to go into your settings, scroll down to your privacy and security. then scroll down again then you should see developer mode and uh, turn it on restart okay my phone has rebooted and it will ask you for your phone's passcode now that we have filled in our passcode we have to go into our settings again go into general then scroll down and you should see VPN and device management open that up then you should see your iCloud's email click that one then you should click trust developer over there so click trust after that's done you can open up your alt store so the alt store has a library browser which you can use to install apps but there are not that many apps so the cool feature about the alt store is uh, it allows you to resign every app and it shows you how many days you have left so for example if you install an emulator and it expires you can just pull down and it will resign the app for you so in order to install apps make sure that you're connected to the same internet connection that your pc is connected to then click the plus icon then i've already downloaded uh, an ipa file so you can just find them on google so this is a PSP emulator, so I'll just click that. Then it will ask you for your login. Okay, after that's done, it's going to upload it to your computer, then sign the application and then install it. So after the installation is done, uh, you can see how many days it's left because you only have 10 installs per week. So if you exceed this, you won't be able to install other apps and you have to wait for an entire week. So let me launch it. So as you can see, it works. And you can install games or download ROMs directly from the internet and play PSP games on your phone. Let me show you guys another example. So click the plus. So I've downloaded a uh, modded Pokemon Go. So I'm gonna click it. Okay, it's done. So the app got installed. allow notifications oh wow it's done for maintenance how convenient but the app works perfectly 
so it's modded. For example, if this gets revoked, you just have to pull down and make sure that you're connected to your local internet, like your house internet, the same one that your PC is connected on. And uh, you can uh, basically resign your apps. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you guys next time.